Hello, my name's Kevin J. Forger, also known as Newton Apple, and I'm here to tell you about a time when my faith was tested. Now, a while ago, I met a guy and became good friends with him, and he told me about his faith, and I was telling him about my faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, but he was following another religion, and I said to him, well, I'm following Christianity because the Bible says that in the Old Testament, there are the prophecies about the Messiah, and Jesus came and fulfilled those prophecies. But he said, ah, you can't believe the Bible because it's been rewritten. So I thought, oh, really? And um, so he invited me to look into his religion and said, open your mind, Kevin, and look into this. So I prayed about it, discussed it with someone at my church, and he was saying, yes, Kevin, you're a strong Christian, you're in a good place with God. So he says, it will probably strengthen your faith in Jesus Christ. So I started to read this guy's book that his religion follows and I got about 12 pages into it and I just thought gosh this is really tough this is really hard work so I stopped reading it and I prayed to God I said God give me a revelation because I want to make sure I'm following the right religion and don't want to get it wrong so I went out for a walk one day and it was as though the whole sky um, had the word love written on it and um, and uh, I thought, right, let me think about love. Love is probably the most important human emotion there is. And I think most of the pop songs are written about love, most of the books, most of the films. And I thought, right, this is an important thing. Um, one of the things I believe as well is that God created man in his own image. Now, when God created us, he puts something of himself into us. So I thought, right, the love would have come from God and the Bible actually says God is love. So I thought, oh right, that matches up with the Bible. And also, when you think about it, there is, uh, when you have like a fighting unit of people uh, during a battle situation and wars, people in that situation will stand up for their buddies, their comrades, they will put their lives on the line to help their colleagues, uh, their comrades. And on Remembrance Sunday in the United Kingdom, uh, the words of Jesus are actually read out where he says, there is no greater love than this, than man lays down his life for his friends. So I thought there's another thing uh, about love and that matches up with the Bible. And also I thought with well, this self-sacrificial love that people are willing to give up their lives for their, for their fellow humans, for their fellow colleagues and friends. And I thought this must match up with God. And also the Bible of course says, um, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That's in John 3, 16. So I hope that's given you an insight into the difference between Christianity and other faiths and because of this self-sacrificial love the Bible also says um, that where Jesus says I am the way and the truth and the life no one comes to the Father except through, hit, through me. So I'm in Paris talking to you about love and I hope that's given you an explanation about that and thank you for watching. Bye bye.